This activity called Mirror Mirror will allow the children to play a game that helps them remember, God gives me rules to follow. The children will be paired up and facing each other. The first child will do something and the other has to do the same thing. Lead the activity something like this. Who in here has looked in a mirror today? Great, me too. We all look in mirrors. Well, today we're going to play a fun game called Mirror Mirror. Once we stand up, I'm going to pair you up and I want you to face your partner like this so that you're looking at them. One of you will be A and the other will be B. I'll tell A to do something first and then I want B to do the same thing. When you both do the same thing, it's like looking in a mirror. Then I'll tell B to do something and A will follow. Let's pair up and begin. Everyone stand up. Sarah Beth, why don't you and Sam be partners? Brendan, you and Cassidy can be partners. Okay, all of the A's in the room. You're an A and you're an A. You're a B and you're a B. All of the A's in the room touch their nose. Now B's. Good job. B's, scratch your head. Now A's, I want you to follow. You repeat the game as long as time permits, alternating between A and B. Other activity ideas are putting your arms in the air, covering your eyes, or tilting your head to one side. Finish the activity something like this. Boys and girls, let's come and sit back down. Was it fun pretending like you were in a mirror? <laughs> Just like you follow what the mirror showed you to do in our game, you should follow what the Bible says in real life, because that's where God gives us rules to follow. Let's all say what we learned together one more time. One, two, three. God gives me rules to follow. Good job. In our game, we practice following. And in real life, we should always follow God because He loves us. And He gives us rules so that we can have the best life possible.